Good morning. Let's give another round of applause for that great Pearl High Cone Band. Thank you. And I'd like to say good morning again. As council member of this district, District 21, I've had the opportunity to be involved with this project from its onset. I am so proud of this community, my fellow members of the council, city leaders, metro departments, and their staff for their unwavering dedication to, the, to the ensuring the success of this program. First and foremost, I want to thank Mayor Carl Dean. <laughs> Mayor Dean, without your support of this project, it would not have been possible. Thanks for your support of this district, this project, and for his incredible energy and effort he puts into every day to make Nashville an even better place to live, work, and play. He told me that this was going to be done. It has been promised and on the drawing books in the hearts since 1983. Mr. Bodenhammer, Mr. Sweat, Mr. Gilbert Smith have also been in front of this project. But Mayor Dean, when he became mayor, he said, I'm going to put it in the budget and we're going to do it. <coughs> mayor Dean, thank you. Yes. You not only look at the big projects, you can also keep your eye on the smaller projects. And that's what's important to this neighborhood. I want to thank the citizens of District 21. Your love of this city and desire to see our community thrive inspires me each and every day, both as a neighbor and also in the work as your council member. I want to thank Billy Lynch, Randy Lovett, Mark Macy, especially John Greger, who was the project manager on this project, for their great assistance to this project and the great city of Nashville. Also, Veronica Frazier. Um, you knew when you start calling names, you're going to get somebody. <laughs> the Planning Commission. Um, um, it'll come to me. <laughs> the Arts Commission. The beautiful art that you see displayed, Jenna Cole and Carrie Logan of the Arts Commission. Parks. Without Tommy Lynch, it would, have been, uh, it would not have been possible. Tommy Lynch and Janet Frazier, thank you. And all the Metro um, Parks and Recreation. Paul Ballard of MTA and the MTA staff. It is my huge honor to welcome all of you here today on this great day for the District 21, great day for our community, and great day for Nashville. It is now my privilege to introduce two wonderful spirit-filled pastors from our community who will offer opening invocations. Reverend Dr. George T. Brooks of St. James Missionary Baptist Church, who we just look straight ahead on 28th, we'll see his church standing there on the hill. And Reverend Dr. Matthew Charlton of Blakemore United Methodist Church, whose church is located at the other end of the 31st Connector. And thank you, and enjoy this day with me, please. Let us pray. Lord, we're so thankful to you for the blessing of this day. We thank you for this great celebration as we celebrate this physical connection of two communities. And as we celebrate this physical connection of this connector on today, we pray that you would bless us to be connected in our goals, our purposes, and our love for one another and this community. Bless our mayor. Continue to give him the vision that is needed to help make Nashville a better place to live. And bless every citizen of Nashville, Davidson County, that all of us would come together, that our lives would bring glory and honor to your name. Thank you for Councilwoman Langster and every person who has played a part in making this day become a reality. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. <clears throat> because we're in the South, we get two prayers. <laughs> Let us pray. 
we gather as citizens of our great city to open and dedicate this bridge as a new and vital connection between neighborhoods and people. For people of faith, we pray that God will bless the work of those who conceived, designed, and built this connector. For all in our city, let us be grateful that those who use it will have easier access to health care at some of the best hospitals in the country, that recreation at Centennial Park and beyond will be more accessible to all, that there will be a direct connection between places of higher learning like Tennessee State, Fisk, Belmont and Vanderbilt. As our communities and the people of this city are drawn closer together, may we celebrate with a generous portion of grace for each other, thankfulness for our visionary leaders, and the ongoing hope that God will bless our good work together. Amen. Good morning, I'm Randy Lovett, the Acting Public Works Director. This is uh, one of the fun parts of this job. You'll hear a lot of thank yous today and we'll repeat the same names over and over occasionally, but that's okay. A project this big deserves a few thank yous. Approximately 16 months ago, Mayor Carl Dean and other community leaders had a groundbreaking here on this long awaited project, 28th and 31st Avenue Connector a project that was discussed, talked about in Nashville for decades, a project that will provide a much needed connection for universities, hospitals, for our citizens and for visitors. A project of this size and magnitude requires a huge collaborative effort among many players. I could not memorize all of them, so I had to write some of them down if you'll forgive me for that, but I would like to mention our event organizers and key players with this project, Gwen Hopkins, Public Works staff, Veronica Frazier, Vicki Ingram, Sharon Smith, Jenna Smith, Randall Lance with the Parks Department, also David Himes, Assistant Public Works Director and his entire operations staff. Our prime contractors and consultants included Bell & Associates Construction, CDM, Smith, Gresham Smith and Partners, CSX Transportation, URS, and Little John Engineering Associates. Other metro operating departments included the Metro Arts Commission, which if you look around, you'll see this beautiful art, Metro Transit Authority, Metro Water Services, Metro Public Works and Recreation, a special recognition for the Director of Parks and Recreation, Mr. Tommy Lynch, great help on this project. Mr. Billy Lynch, who was previous Public Works Director when the project started, Mark Macy, our chief engineer, and a special thank you to John Greger of the Public Works staff. He was the project manager for this entire project. He did a fantastic job. I would also like to recognize the artists involved here, David Dahlquist and Kevin Berry. Obviously, you cannot do a project of this size without the support of the Metro Council and Vice Mayor Neighbors. We appreciate that, and a special thank you and a special recognition to the District 21st Councilperson, Edith Langston. Thank you. <clears throat> we are also very grateful for the leadership and commitment of Mayor Carl Dean on this entire project. As Council per Member Langston pointed out quite eloquently, he was the key to this entire project. It is my honor to introduce our Mayor Carl Dean, the sixth mayor of the Metropolitan Nashville and Davidson County. Thank you. Well, thank you, Randy. And let me first start by commending uh, the Pearl Cohen Band, who really stole the show on the way up here. That was great. And also the staff at Public Works, uh, Randy, Billy Lynch, who started this project for doing such a tremendous job, and most importantly, for getting it done early and on budget. That needs to be our theme in the next uh, 10 months. Uh, right, Larry Adama? Um, good afternoon to you all. I want to recognize uh, members of the council who are here. Uh, the ones I have spotted, of course, the Council Lady uh, Langster, Buddy Baker, Walter Hunt, Eric Gilmore, Ronnie Stein, along with uh, Jerry Maynard, uh, Jacoby Adal, Council Lady Blaylock is here, uh, Jason Holloman and Berk Berkeley Allen, thank you for being here. Uh, State Senator Henry is here, Representative Mary Pruitt, 
And I also want to recognize our great Congressman Jim Cooper and thank him for being here. I want to recognize Dr. Frist and thank him for being here. He's a, a, a key part of all this. And also, I wanted to have a point of privilege, would like to recognize a former council member, Willis McAllister, who's here in the front row. And Willis, it's always great to see you. And Judge Aaron Holt, who is with us. Today's grand opening celebration is a momentous occasion, one that our community has been waiting for for a long time. This bridge connecting 28th Avenue in North Nashville to 31st Avenue in West Nashville is more than just infrastructure. It is a symbol of bringing our community together. With today's opening, we are literally reconnecting two parts of Nashville that were divided over 40 years ago when the interstate was built. Centennial Hospital and Baptist Hospital will now be connected to Meharry and Metro General. TSU and Fisk University will be connected to Vanderbilt, Belmont, and Lipscomb. And thank you to all the representatives who are here from those universities. Centennial Park will be connected to Hadley Park. These are important connections. And I'm proud that we made this project a priority in our city's capital spending to allow it to happen. With strong support from the Metro Council, we appropriated $18 million to fund the design and construction of this project. That's a substantial amount of money given the economic environment of a couple years ago, but the cost shies in comparison to what our city is going to reap in benefits. Economic benefits, environmental benefits, and most importantly, social benefits through a greater sense of community. Just look around you. I believe this has turned out to be one of the most beautiful thoroughfares in all of Nashville. It's a complete street and a green street. It was designed to accommodate all forms of transportation, not only cars, but pedestrians, bicyclists, and transit. It includes six new bus shelters, and with this street's opening, MTA is launching a new bus line called the University Connector that connects six of our city's universities. I know the thousands of students and employees who spend their days on the university's campuses will see a great benefit in this new crosstown service. The green features on this street include planting areas along the sides and medium that will act as rain gardens, filtering and reducing stormwater runoff to help keep our water supply clean, and the lighting features include solar LED lights. And a feature I'm sure none of you have missed, the entire bridge is lined with one-of-a-kind one of public art made by a nationally recognized public artist, David Dahlquist. The work is titled Thread, with 150 steel panels that represent quilt squares, pattern threads, and knots, which all together symbolize the two halves of our community coming back together. The six bus shelters also double as public art and were designed by David and a second artist, Kevin Berry. With this project, we have set a new standard for how to design and construct a signature street in our city, but this is just one of many investments that I believe will transform this corridor in the years ahead. Much like downtown was 20 years ago, our corridors, like Charlotte Avenue, are ripe for revitalization, and we're already beginning to see what's in store for this area. On the west side of the connector, plans are moving along for the One City Development, a very appropriate name. It's more than 18-acre campus that is envisioned as a mixed-use development with several buildings and has the potential of becoming an important business center in this part of town. I'd like to thank Ryan Doyle and the other people who are helping develop One City who are here with us today for believing in the vision of the connector and committing themselves to creating a development that will serve the economic interest of Nashville for years to come. On the east side of the connector, near where you are parked today, where a large manufacturing warehouse once stood, is now an empty lot ready for redevelopment. The property owner, Limestone Group, is preparing for future development of that area. I want to acknowledge Doug McKinnon with Limestone. And not far from here, across the street from HCA's main building on Charlotte, we recently broke ground on a new public health facility for the Metro Public Health Department, which HCA is developing through a partnership with the city. What other city in America can say a national leader in health care facilities is developing their public health headquarters? Yes. Nashville is truly blessed to have such a great corporate citizen like HCA. 
The company was born here, has grown here, and along the way has spurred an entire industry of healthcare companies that now make up our city's number one private employer. The 28th connect connector is literally, as you can see, in HCA's backyard. And we could not, I cannot stress this enough, we could not have done this project without their full support and cooperation. And so I want to say a special word of thanks to HCA. Thank you, HCA. I'd like to invite Milton Johnson, HCA's president and CFO, to the podium to say a few words. Milton. Thank you, Mayor Dean, and, and good morning. This is indeed a historic day for Nashville. Many of us who grew up here thought this connector may never happen. But thanks to a lot of creative thinking and great cooperation between the city and HCA, it's become a reality. We all know this is a project that's been on the city's wish list for a long time. Now that it's completed and construction of the new Lentz Clinic is underway right across Charlotte Avenue, this corridor is poised for a bright future. HCA is pleased to have played a role in making this dream for many in the community come true. We have long thought of Nashville as a premier city in which to do business. But Nashville is also our home. And when we can participate in improvements like this that lead to future growth, bring together historically separated communities and further the city's agenda, we see it as a win for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Milton. And to show our gratitude to you and to others involved in making this project possible, we have commissioned a Hatch Show print in honor of this occasion. And now for the moment we've been waiting for, I have the pleasure of inviting the other speakers on stage and council members to join me for the ribbon cutting.